What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video, and we're about to check out Randy Orton's Ultimate Punt Kick compilation. Now, he used to use this move a lot back in the day. Um, I believe they stopped having him use this move only because uh, I believe it had something to do with, you know, not potentially injuring the wrestler because the move is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, you're basically kicking somebody in the head. It was a, just as effective as the RKO. It it took people out. And if you want to go, you know, look at it from a believable standpoint, if you run at full speed and you kick somebody in the head, there's a good chance you can severely concuss them or potentially kill them, depending on how hard you kick someone. Like if you hit them, kick them in a, the temple, they could die from that. It was a believable move, but they, they decided to, you know, just kind of scrap it. So you may see him like back up for a punt kick every now and then, but there's like a good chance he's not going to actually hit it. It's just a tease, you know, to get people kind of excited to see if he's going to actually hit the move. So we're about to check this out, man. Um, it's been a while since I've actually seen him hit it. So this is it's going to bring back some nostalgia. Once again, Randy Orton was a piece of of back in the day character wise he was just yo he was he was just an asshole he was just didn't care bro he was punting everybody everybody was getting a boot by brandy orton so we're gonna check this out oh my god damn Oh. Oh my. Yeah, that was. And them wrestlers were selling it too. Look at RVD just. Yeah, this. Yeah, he was just on a roll, just punting people's heads into the first row. Look at this. Look, he literally fell in the front row. Randy Orton with that running kick right to the head. Bro, he was so evil back then. I love JR. No, no. God damn it. No. Yo, Randy was so evil back then. Knows he's had the match one and then oh that kick right to the side of Sarge's head. Orton looks like he I think around this time, I think they were building him up to become the new uh WWE champion at this point. They had him literally just go on a spree of putting people out, like putting them on the shelf. This was a move that was believable. That is like, yo, you get hit with this move, you're going to be out for a while. And I think they were building him up to be the ultimate heel. Because at this point, I want to say John Cena was the champ still. And his championship run was kind of getting stale. So, correct me if I'm wrong. Bro. I remember this, yep. He went after his dad, John Cena's dad. I remember this. This is disturbing. To say the least, the WWE champion. Invoking one of the most distasteful interruptions. Pedigree! See the kid kick out! Oh! Oh, what a kick! Oh my god, what a kick! Oh, no top! Yeah! One in! But yes, it is! That wasn't a glancing blow, that was square to the side of. Bro, Randy Orton, that was his thing, man. That was his. That was better than the RKO at some points. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh yeah, that's when he had the he was building a faction legacy. This was Randy Orton, some of his best work. This was I want to say this was the edge of him transitioning from the legend killer to to now the Viper. I guess you can say this was his transitioning period from like two thousand I want to say two thousand seven to like maybe two thousand nine. Or whatever. That was his transitioning period from the legend killer to the guy that's sadistic and he hears voices in his head to tell you to kick you into another dimension and end your career. That's his transition. Which I like. Like you you legit hated this guy. Oh, Batista showed that. I remember when he did that one. I remember when Vince McMahon has you in a program where you're attacking him. Because Vince McMahon has switched up his character. He wasn't just the, the tyrant CEO. He had his moments, but he started going and he started, like, I guess you can say humanizing his character to the point where it's like you had empathy for him. Like you, you respected Vince McMahon or whatever. And when this happened, it's like, OK, all right. Now they're really they're really going with Randy. It's the same way with the Kevin Owens. I don't know if y'all remember how Kevin Owens confronted Vince McMahon and Kevin Owens busting him open with a headbutt and then uh hitting him with a frog splash off the top rope. That's when you know you're you're starting to get into like some some main event uh tier storylines when Vince McMahon gets involved. Granted, he was already like in the main event scene, but he was just he was punting people just just because he could and then he, he punts the CEO, the boss, like Insane, bro. Look at this. Oh my Jesus. I like how he saved him, bro. Oh, I remember this feud. And that's the thing, bro. He wasn't even using his RKO that much. This was this had become his his finisher. If y'all really want to break it down, the punt kick had become ultimately his finisher. He he wasn't using RKO as much. Oh, bro, he was so sadistic, bro. Look at him, dog. He was. But that's what he's thinking. Okay, that one looked bad. That one looked bad. Well, hold on. Hold on. That one looked bad. It didn't even look like he hit him on that one. Well, let's see if I can stop it at the right time. I don't think I got it at the right time. No, he didn't hit him. That wasn't that angle. They shouldn't have went with that angle. That look. That look. That look bad. At this point, I think he was more so a face a little bit. Yeah. At this point, he was he was more so a face. At this point right here, that's when he returned. He turned the face. You can see people with RKO signs and stuff like he was. He was more so a face at this time. Was that Husky Harris? Was that yeah? That's a young Bray Wyatt before he became uh, the Bray Wyatt we know today. Husky Harris getting booted. Randy Orton. You could say Randy Orton is the reason we have the Bray Wyatt we have now. Because he kicked his his skull so hard. He made him create an alternate personality. Not once, 
but twice. <laughs> Goodbye, Husky Harris. Hello, Bray Wyatt. Yeah, this is when he was going after all the Nexus people. He got some speed on that one. Oh, yeah, they. So this was after 2000, after the Chris Benoit situation. This is way after it. Um, I was I'm still surprised they were still really allowing him to use that maneuver around that time. Michael McGillicuddy. Oh my god, yeah. Randy Orton to David. This is how quickly Randy Orton <laughs> That was his thing to do, bro. No, 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 <laughs> See him punk was losing everybody. He literally would just kick niggas. He would I want y'all to think about this. This man takes time to run to the ring, to run to a specific corner in the ring, to wait for you to get in this position where your head is prone, and then poop, just punch your shit, bro. How fucking time consuming that is. <laughs> oh, man. This is cool. Look at this. See? <laughs> it had to be because of the potential damage that that can do. Getting kicked in the head. The patented punt, man. The PP. <laughs> the crowd was, I mean, he was getting a lot of good face reactions at this period. I think uh, this is when he started transitioning back into a heel. Oh, man. Brought back memories, man. Comment down below if y'all actually know the reasoning why they had him not use the punt uh, as much and as pretty much his finisher. And, you know, let me know if you guys actually have some insight on it because I could have sworn it was just because you know they wanted to protect the wrestlers heads and they're not trying to have no not they don't want to have the wrestlers be in situations where they have concussions all over the place so but yeah man this was classic randy orton punting people into oblivion some people he ended up punting out the wwe some people he punted into you know even better positions in the wwe Comment down below if y'all would be interested in uh, WWE allowing Randy Orton to bring back this move uh, and put this yeah, as one of his potential finishers, man. To be honest with you, I enjoy it. And, uh, do I like it better than RKO? No, because I like the RKO just how how like it the pop when it happens because he can literally pull it out of nowhere no pun intended but i do think in certain situations bringing back the punt kick could be where he actually hits it could be could be perfect you know what i'm saying i, I think that would be dope hell if he brings it back with edge at the the wrestling match they're supposed to have at backlash say it's a situation where um a randy orton can't really get the job done like he can't put him away and he ends up kicking him i i would like to see that that could be you know it's, it's a heinous thing for randy orton to do and i think that would be dope comment down below if y'all think wwe should let him uh uh use the punt kick again but i appreciate all the love and support road to 20k and i appreciate y'all kicking it with me i'll see y'all on the next one peace